Through the magic of YouTube, you could be watching this anytime, even in the 22nd century, but it happens that we're filming on June 10th, 2016, the day of the interfaith funeral service for Muhammad Ali. I'm one of those who believes this really is the end of an era. When Muhammad Ali was young, he was Cassius Clay. I was younger, and I was watching all the goings-on on TV. At that time, I remember hearing him say so often, I am the greatest. And that was really disturbing to me, because I was a good Catholic girl. And I knew that you weren't supposed to say stuff like that. I mean, come on. Pride isn't just a sin. It's one of the seven deadlies. But he kept saying it. And then you know what? He lived it proved it, and he showed to everybody that in his field, he really was the greatest that had ever been, maybe the greatest that will ever be. A few years later, 1976, I spent those days between Christmas and New Year's on a fast, water only, with 120 other people in Ralph Abernathy's church basement in Atlanta. This was an event put together by the comedian, human rights activist, and vegan, Dick Gregory, to draw attention to world hunger and the way that Western people consume, particularly our great greed for meat and other animal products, actually has a ripple effect causing more hunger and starvation around the world. So to keep us from going stir-crazy, I mean, we were sleeping on sleeping bags on a gymnasium floor and drinking water, Mr. Gregory arranged for us to have conference calls with important people. There were some Hollywood types and Coretta Scott King, who was wonderful. And when Muhammad Ali called in, oh, those were our favorite nights. He was so friendly so forthcoming and willing to answer our questions. I remember one guy said, hey champ, when are you gonna go vegetarian? And Muhammad Ali said, when I get out of this violent business. And I thought, how insightful that is. He's very aware that boxing is violent and he's doing it for now. Eating plants is nonviolent and he'll be doing that soon. A few months later, I was walking through the lobby of the Crown Center Hotel in Kansas City, Missouri. I went there in the morning to use their gym for work, and there he was, Muhammad Ali, in the flesh, stunningly handsome. And I went up to him to say, Champ, when we were on that fast in Atlanta, having you call in was just the height of the week. We appreciated you so much. You were everybody's hero. And he said, no, you guys were the heroes. I should have been there fasting with you. And in that moment, all of those times that I heard him say, I am the greatest, combined with this incredible humility of no, I should have been there with you. In that moment, it's when I saw that startling confidence and stunning humility can exist at the same time, in the same life, and work. That was a really important lesson to learn. Muhammad Ali, you gave us the gorilla in Manila and the rumble in the jungle. I guess now it's time for the revelin' in heaven. Godspeed.